The strain that gives rise to vampires and werewolves is a recessive genetic anomaly that, when inherited in its active form, gives immortality and superhuman strength. It also has the ability, in another stage of mutation, to fuse genes. The Corvinus strain in its pure state has the capacity to maintain and harbor both genes carried by vampires and werewolves. Therefore, it is the only one capable of combining the properties of both vampires and werewolves, which otherwise destroy each other due to incompatible components contained at the cellular level. The recessive strain is activated and mutated upon contact with the genes of one or more other animal species. The only known mutations of the Corvina strain are vampire and werewolf. When inherited in its latent form, it does not generate any interaction with the host, it does not give any indication of its presence. However, the ability of the latent strain to produce another stage of mutation remains, but only if it is activated by an external catalyst. That catalyst is the fused Corvina strain, that is, the vampire or werewolf strains. A post-mutation fusion with both strains results in the appearance of a vampire-werewolf hybrid. The inactive and active form of the strain appear to be two divergent mutations, as they react differently with the vampire and werewolf strains. Alexander Corvinus was a Hungarian warlord who came to power in the 5th century, just in time to see the destruction of his people by an unknown plague. Alexander was the only survivor of the plague. In an unknown way, his body adapted to the virus and improved upon it, becoming the first immortal and the original carrier of the strain. With his wife Helena, he fathered three sons, two of whom actively inherited the Corvina strain, Marcus and William. Marcus was bitten by a bat, which caused his strain to mutate, becoming the first vampire. Meanwhile, William was bitten by a wolf, which caused his strain to mutate with the wolf's DNA, becoming the first werewolf. William became a savage beast, Alexander attributed this rage and savagery to the fact that William could never return to his human form. William caused chaos and carnage throughout the country, infecting those he bit. Even the people killed by William were brought back to life due to the effects of the mutated strain, which proved potent enough to reanimate the dead, turning them into the first generation of werewolves. Infected people turned into raging monsters, creating a legion of werewolves that spawned across Hungary. To keep his brother under control, Marcus approached a warlord named Victor, promising him immortality as a vampire in exchange for his army and military experience in capturing William. Victor's soldiers also converted and took the name Death Dealers. After many battles against William and his furious progeny, he was finally captured. Victor betrayed Marcus and ordered William to be locked forever in a special cage, the location of which was kept secret from Marcus. Alexander's third son also inherited the strain, although in latent form. In him, the strain was kept in its pure form and was passed from generation to generation until it reached a man named Michael Corvin. Due to the strain's ability to be passed from father to son, anyone who is a biological descendant of Alexander Corvinus's third son is a possible carrier of the strain. A vampire named Selene absorbed the Corvinus strain by directly ingesting Alexander's blood, reinforcing the residual Corvinus strain into the vampire strain. This produced new characteristics in the vampire strain. Her strength and healing ability have improved to a level equivalent to that of a hybrid vampire, being able to withstand direct exposure to sunlight. A vampire named David was mortally wounded and Selene gave him some of her blood, using the healing power of the Corvinus strain to save his life, also making him able to withstand sunlight. A werewolf named Jacob Lane used the technology and resources of a corporation called Antigen to obtain the original strain of Michael Carvin's blood and experiment on it. Thus he managed to create a serum with which he injected his son, turning him into a werewolf immune to the silver and with a size and strength much greater than a normal werewolf in addition to accelerated healing. Jacob also injected himself with the serum but was not as affected because he received fewer doses, 